as a high volume vasectomist, I'm always looking for innovative ways to do things better. And you know me, I'm always looking for ways to improve. At the 2024 AUA annual meeting, I am finally seeing the fruits of what has been worked on for about five years, Signati. One of their developers reached out to me many years ago talking about the product, so I'm finally able to see it in action. Now, it is not yet FDA approved. They're going through the research process and approval process, but this is really, really novel. Think of it as a ligature device, except it's transdermal if you want to do it that way, or you can expose the vas and, and then perform the procedure. It's, it comes with a generator and you would have the, the disposable you have will be the kit and the kit will probably come in boxes of five but you know to be announced we'll see what happens in the long run. Let me show you how this is actually done. Pretty exciting stuff. So this is the generator over here and this is a simulated scrotum. There's a handpiece that delivers the radio frequency energy and this clamp is used to help you isolate the vas. So Matt is going to simulate the scrotum vas isolation right there and you bring it to the edge of the scrotum using this plastic clip so you're isolating the vas to the edge of the scrotum on the ipsilateral side and then you take this RF generator handle and this takes a little getting used to put it across the vas that runs this way and then there's a pedal down here that you're not seeing you apply energy you hear the beep, and then once it's cooked, <laughs> it's divided, the vas is divided, the, sk the skin is divided, the, the fascial layer is divided, the cremasteric muscles divided, the vessels divided. You can then remove the clamp, and if you are one of those who's not completely following the AUA guidelines, if you want a piece of the vas, you can use this special device that they have, and punch through this opening and you'll also have a piece of vas deferens tissue for sampling. And you would do the other side after a an local anesthetic, perform the procedure on the contralateral side. The kit comes with two plastic clips just in case you drop one or if you want to use a new one for each side. You can do it through transdermal or if you are like the traditionalist, you can make a tiny little puncture in the midline, bring the vas through the skin and then perform the same thing using the same technique. Encircle the vas, and this is probably a better view. You can see that the vas is right there, and then the clamp, and then the RF delivery device, press the pedal, you divide the vas, seal the vas the same way. Okay, let me know what you think about this device. Can you use it in your office to facilitate and possibly decrease the 1.5 million women going through tubal ligation when guys can have this simple procedure done in the office in a very brief amount of time, fast recovery, and back to productivity in no time. All right, let me know in the comments. As someone who has performed about 3,300 vasectomies just in the last few years, I have a few concerns regarding the Signati device. Number one, I don't know the clinical efficacy of the actual device and number two, sometimes the hardest part of the procedure is actually identification and isolation of the vas deferens. Although in a model scrotum, it looks really, really easy to find a vas and perform the procedure. However, in reality, sometimes for guys with a high riding scrotum, tight scrotum, high riding testes with very, very short vasa, or sometimes obese guys, identification of the vas may be challenging. And number three, because everything is sealed at the level of the skin, I worry about something, maybe it's gonna be called vasa cutaneous fistula because the testicular end is sealed at the level of the skin. So what if the seal is not perfect? What if that five seconds of RF energy is not enough? Because everybody's scrotal skin thickness is a little bit different. So. I reserve my judgment until more clinical data are available and until field experience is also out there. Let me know what you think in the comments.